Yeah. We're inside the submarine right now. <laughs> Got the owner right back there, stalking. We haven't had any water leaking in the front. Yeah, it's going to happen now, so then they'll put a, a, a vacuum on. Yeah. Alright guys, we're sealed, <laughs> we're in here, <laughs> alright, alright we're inside and sealed in the submarine, I'm excited, first time in a submarine, it looks really cool in here too. Keep in mind what you're looking at right now is the exact same submersible that imploded and killed five people. And also any footage you see is stocked and of course, you know, he's passed away by now. Uh, tell him we're at uh, 600 feet. Oh, we're, yeah, yeah, we're doing it. Oh my oh, Jesus. Jesus. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> we are all upside down right now, you guys. See that? We're underwater. So we're officially underwater in a submarine right now. 33 feet, I believe, right? 10 meters. Uh, 10 yep. meters. Yep. 33 feet. Are you ready for unlock? Or are we unlock? Is he saying we are unlock or are okay. we ready for unlock? Yes, say give him an okay. Give him an okay in the, in the dome. So what does that mean? Uh, looks like he's gonna, he's gonna go locks. pull the mechanical lock and we're gonna see how the pneumatic lock is doing. And there's a chance we'll pop off. Still no pings from the top side. Hey Stockton, what are you using to control the submarine? Dead. You're locked in. Okay to lock in? Okay. To go to dinner to the okay. ground. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That means they're probably gonna bring us up. Soon. Yeah, you know, because we've had no comms for, for a while. This is a pretty. This is the vertical. He's getting aggressive on us. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are bubbles. Yeah. Bet we come out. Yeah, look at that. That was, a good, that was a good blow. Not bad, huh? Good. Whoa! Uh, should come the roll. I think we want to go. It's cool when you break the surface. Yeah. Yeah, go. I think we go left. Lean a little left. Keep going left. Balancing. Oh, nice job, Kyle. Yeah. I'm a, yeah. Look at Kyle. <laughs> nice one, man. I don't know exactly the game plan for this particular dive. We never left a platform. If the fog didn't roll in and cancel the dive, who knows? Maybe we would have left that platform and maybe we would have imploded. But I can tell you right now, I feel like I dodged a bullet, but I also feel very bad for the families who lost loved ones. Like I said before, I didn't know these people too well, but they treated me very nicely and I lost a few friends as well. If you're chasing big dreams and pushing your limits, obviously dangerous things can happen and you know can be fatal. In this case scenario, five people lost their life and this exact same submersible that I was going to go down in the Titanic in. I think this is a big reminder not only to myself but everyone that life is very precious and it can go away very quickly. Like I said if the weather permitted and it was beautiful out and Stockton asked me if I wanted a spot in that submarine I would have said yes and it could have been me. So I'm very thankful that I'm here today but at the end of the day I just want to say I had an unbelievable experience for Mission 3. I met some incredible people. I'm taking home memories that I would hold dear to my heart for the rest of my life. These people were very nice to me and I'm very very grateful. I wish I could go back in time and, and just, you know, like tell them not to do it. But, you know, this is this is real life.